Hey, what's good, Magic Gang? Welcome back to my channel here at Magic God T. All right, so again, your ancestors have come to me in a dream and are communicating with me. Let me tell you something. Today is eclipse season. Today is the eclipse. I don't know if some of you guys already got the chance to see it, but during those bridges and portals, honey, Magic God the T gets more T than ever. And so last night I had a fluxion of different dreams, but the most important one that I felt compelled to just really speak on instantaneously is this message, which is you have ancestors, okay? It's a lot of them. And they were telling me that you have no idea how protected you are. They're telling me that, well, literally, you're somebody that is so protected by them that no one can touch you, okay? You have this unpenetrable shield and protection that no one can touch, can interfere with. And I'm telling you that because they've shown me that I don't know if you've gone to a particular psychic, but if you're watching this video, if you haven't visited a psychic, then you are being guided to go to somebody that you trust, like a psychic that you trust. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can go to MajiGatTheTea.com. It's in the description box or comment in the pins below. Also, to those of you that have booked readings with me, thank you so much for your patience. I will start delivering messages today. So if, I, if you haven't heard from me and I respond to your email, you will today, tomorrow, very soon, and all those days. Okay, so... um. Bam. If you already feel like this message is yours, if you feel like your ancestors have been trying to communicate and you're just like, I don't know what that message is, um, or you're feeling conflicted, just literally comment below, my ancestors are protecting me. No weapon form against me shall prosper. They, they showed me the seat, right? So they showed me, first of all, I feel like this is connected to the previous readings I've done. So if you haven't checked those out, please do. Because they do develop a story. And in this one, it's like, yes, you're psychic and your ancestors come from bloodline of psychics, very powerful ones. But there's also just information that sometimes even you as a psychic yourself can't get from yourself. And maybe it's going to take you to go into different sources. But what I was being shown is that the psychic that you decide to go to, whether it's in your neighborhood, whether it's online... This person is the one that's meant to deliver this next message that your ancestors want to give you regarding your family, okay? Because they're telling me, your name could be Joseph, this could be male or female energy, it doesn't matter, take what resonates, take what doesn't, bam. But uh, they really showed me that you have family members around you that are really being deceitful. And I have been saying this message for the longest, but for some reason, they keep bringing it up and they keep telling me that the next psychic that you go to it's going to give you a, a new type of information that you haven't known as to why your family is attacking you, as to why they're so envious and hateful towards you, but they won't show it, right? They're wearing this mask, this disguise, so that you, you know, that it's, it's deceitful to you. You don't really see what's going on. So this eclipse season, honey, use this energy so that you can get the truth. Comment below, God, please show me the truth ancestors i'm ready to see with my third eye i am ready to see with my true eyes it's like it's time for you to really know what has been going on because this has been going on since you were a child or just for many years now and they're telling me you are so protected you have no idea and neither does these family members these bloodline of yours because if they did then they really wouldn't mess with you because your ancestors are on your side comment below my ancestors of the highest white light are on my side okay we're talking of your healing ancestors, your highest white light ancestors. Like, they're really powerful and they've been really telepathically communicating with me constantly. I really appreciate that because that means that they trust me to deliver this message. They know that you're somebody that watches me or somebody that's just going to click on this intuitively because they're giving me this message. Okay. I also saw 111 and 444 in my third eye. You could be seeing these numbers, but you can also affirm them in the comments below so that you can receive the activation that you need. All right, so I'm going to start this reading with my very own Oracle deck, the Chosen Ones 144. This is my deck, okay? I sell it on my website. Uh, also, the link is in the description box. This deck is made for those of you that feel like you're chosen. Definitely you are. Your ancestors have chosen you for a higher cause here, and that's what they want to tell you. They might tell you in this reading here, but they're also going to tell you 
uh, through a personal reading that you book, okay? But I could be this conduit right now for sure. <clears throat> this deck is definitely important though if you're trying to get activated. They keep telling me about your inheritance, okay? They just keep telling me some type of inheritance has been like taken from you and it doesn't just have to be money because the last reading I said that a few weeks ago, I said it was property, it was things, but I just keep feeling like there's something that is yours, that somebody in this family members, they want to take. It could be your gift or something, but let's get to the tea. Somebody comment below, Maji, spill the tea, please, okay? Let's see. So we have this card trying to come out, evil family members, there you go. There you go. Confirmation for you, honey, that's the confirmation for you. The next card is you have a big mission on earth. There you go. Trust me, you're going to need this deck, honey, to activate all this that's going on. Because you got to know you're a star seed. And guess what? You're God's ambassador. God hire me who's going to fire me. That is the saying I always say in my channel if you're new here. I say, God hire me who's going to fire me, huh? All right? So it's like no one can fire you except God. And God has hired you. So comment below. God has hired me. Who's going to fire me? The answer is nobody okay nobody no nobody can fire you not even these family members they cannot take what is yours okay especially when you're god's ambassador especially when you're somebody that's doing god's work consciously or subconsciously knowingly or unknowingly you are doing god's work comment below i am doing god's work okay honey that's literally what you're doing or burrow watching on the other side <laughs> anyways this is about these evil family members that you maybe don't know how deep it gets maybe some of you guys through my past readings have already gotten this download but i don't think you have understood which is what your ancestors were telling me i don't think you have understood the severity of this how how rooted this gets okay i'm seeing like gardens and plants how rooted this gets this is dirt this is mud okay this shit has been buried all right and it's all because you have something big here on earth so we know how the devil works and how it gets into people's like energy and stuff so i just feel like your 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 family members not all of them you know but these are particular for some of you it could be all of them you got to follow your intuition you got to connect with your own soul tribe and ancestors but i'm really getting like you know it's not really that like them it's, it's the energy that they're carrying around them, right? So it's like they're easily accessible to negative energy because of their negative thinking and because of their jealousy and envy that they're carrying already from you, honey. You are the threat, all right? You are the threat. Comment below, I am threat. They literally feel intimidated by you because they know that there's something ethereal about you that feels out of this world, who is this alien I'm talking to? Comment out alien emoji. All right. I heard the name Michael. I heard Robert. I'm getting a lot of male energy, but that doesn't have to be. I'm just channeling specific. I also heard August 7. You could be seeing 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, but yeah, let's, let's clarify these cards, right? Let's get some of this here. See how we have confinement here? Some of you guys feel like you're in this spiritual jail. And you have been, like somebody has you on the captivity. Wow, if you've been having like pain in your body or something like that, or just having like a lot of mental battles, this is because there's a family member here or a group of them working together, okay? Um, or just could be several of them working separately attacking you. Who knows how this is manifesting in your particular life? But it seems like they've had you in some form of captivity here. And you felt like you were trapped and you didn't feel free right your ancestors are telling you listen you got bigger things you have a big mission on earth as well as your bloodline you're a general curse breaker why are you feel this weak it's because of the spell work that they've been doing okay you might be seeing a lot of black cats dreaming with black cats then we have death remember i told you dirt graves they've been doing graveyard magic they literally try to do death spells magic. This is people trying to literally take you out in one way or another. There's somebody that could have passed away. And it was due to this evil family members. Scorpio energy. Something about Halloween is coming up. October. Libra energy. Scorpio energy. We have stopped. 
okay? You're the one that's going to stop. You're, you're the one that's going to put an end to all this bullshit. You're the one that's going to put an end to this nightmare. Comment below. I'm putting an end to this nightmare. I'm the one that's going to stop all of this negativity, all of this spell work. It's you, the general curse breaker. That's the confirmation for you. You're the one that's literally going to pull the brakes on these bitches that literally have tried to harm you and your family even. Your kids, whatever, your pets, whatever. We have nightmares here. So a lot of you guys, literally, there's like your ancestors are telling me that this goes all the way in the spirit, right? This is like, they're literally have you in some form of captivity. Your astral body is in one way or another in some type of captivity. And only you can get yourself out of there and they're going to help you. Your ancestors are going to help you. Okay, because they're telling me you, you're having a lot of nightmares, you're having a lot of like mean dreams, and you're seeing darkness, or you're being persecuted, you're being chased, you're being hurt, you feel fear, you feel like you're suffering in some way. You might even be having dreams with you're dying, or you see somebody dying, or you know, people with no faces. I heard for someone 11 11 as I said that, but it's like that's due to these people that have sent demonic entities to attack you. There are astral demons there that are still bothering you. And your ancestors want to let you know about that. Comment below. I am free. I am being liberated from this darkness. Oh, I love that. You are being liberated from this darkness, honey. Mm -hmm. We have withdrawal. Somebody here could have like a smoking addiction. Or you've had an awakening that you need to quit some bad habits. They've had you under that. They had you under some form of addiction here. If you had a miscarriage, this was due to some spell work here. All right? Like, I'm sorry, but this gets raw and real here in my channel. Somebody here could be doing real estate. Or like I said, there's some form of property that you own uh, that you don't know was taken from you. All right, let's see what's this, what's this big mission that you have and what is it connected to? What is this big mission here? All right, it's time for you to decide. It's, it's time for you to think with your heart and actually start doing the things that you want to do. Because your ancestors are telling me they're going to liberate you. You are liberated. You have to start living like you're liberated. You're no longer that person in captivity. You could be a Libra, but you're meant to bring justice here. Your career is meant to bring fairness here. And like I said, justice is coming. Because these people that thought they were messing with just a regular degola have to realize that you're the chosen one. Comment below. They're about to realize I'm the chosen one. Leader. You're the leader. And that's why you are the unique one. You're meant to um, take lead, okay, in your life and mentor others. Right now, you're on the right path. If you're wondering, if you have any doubt, your ancestors want to let you know you're doing a good job. You're on the right path. Affirm that in the comments below. I'm on the right path, okay? I see Gemini coming through in this reading. Liberate your truth. Speak your truth. They're helping you with this because, again, they've had you in some form of captivity where you weren't able to speak up for yourself. So now you're going to be able to take away their mask and speak up for yourself. I love this energy. And then we have Capricorn energy here too. Elevated status. There we go. You're the Phoenix, honey. The Phoenix rising death and rebirth. You're about to rise to another level of status. Comment that down below. I'm about to rise to a next level of status. Next level of like abundance is what I'm getting. The moment you decide to do the things that you love to do is the, mo is the moment you're going to start to receive prosperity from every angle. Right now, you're going to be elevating your status, but this is also spiritually. You know how I always say like some of you guys are really spiritually ranked? Well, yeah, you're going even more highly elevated. Royal bloodline coming through here. This is really dope. You're somebody that's meant to hold a big title here as you fulfill this big mission that you have as a chosen one somebody's doing spell work to take sleep away from you that's what i'm saying if you feel like you haven't been sleeping like you're having a lot of nightmares make sure you're cleansing yourself cleansing your home praying whatever way works for you and your beliefs okay but they're telling me that your sleep is being attacked so that 
you literally can't sleep and all you have is like nightmares and things somebody's definitely trying to bring stress to you oh and you know what's crazy <clears throat> somebody here could be trying to get botox if that's you i know this is random but that also came up to my dream like just don't don't get the botox they're telling me like you don't need it that's them doing spell work on you with mirror magic so that like you don't have confidence in yourself or that you start seeing something wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you comment that down below okay you're beautiful just the way you are yeah somebody wants you to just basically like lose a grip in reality like you know when people can't sleep and they go crazy they want you to have that sleep deprivation uh deprivation right now sleep deprivation what the fuck i can't even speak right now sleep de deprivation i can't even speak right now but yeah they're trying to access your gifts your akashic records like where you come from what are you why are you the special one there's that, like I said, like, there's just like, why how about you worry about your own life? But they're too busy worrying about yours. They're conjuring all the demonic entities that they need. You want to know why? Because they know that you're about to do something big. Comment below. My enemies know I'm about to do something big. So they're trying to conjure whatever freaking demon that they can get in contact with. Whatever dark energy they can get their hands on. Because they know God is not on their side when it comes to hurting you. God's like, no, I'm not here. They're, their own ancestors from the same bloodline is like, nope, I'm not doing that. You, the chosen one. They're not going to hurt you. Okay? So karma's coming for these people. These people want to create soul ties so that you never leave them. It's just creepy. It's just toxic. And it's 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 how the chosen one's family are, to be honest. Anyone who, who's chosen, this is how the family usually is. It's just this. But you have to remember the big things that you're meant here to do. The things that God has hired you to do quietly. That you might not know the title of, but your heart does. And that's why you need to keep following it, okay? So, I'm sending you guys so much love and light your way. Remember that you are protected. Remember that your ancestors are trying to connect with you. So, really, before going to bed, set the intention to communicate with them. Till next time. Bye-bye.